Hello everyone, welcome to the last part of the application of derivatives and which is the most important part because I shall be dealing with Rolle's theorem and LMVT. So make sure that you deal with the video properly and do some questions after watching it because at least two questions will be guaranteed from this part of the chapter in the J advanced examination. So let me begin by clearing a common misconception that is if I have a graph, let this be the coordinate axis, let me take a graph of a curve y is equal to f of x which looks looks somewhat like this okay so if i have any quadratic for example that has two roots so if i take a de derivative of that then that equation will be having one root because the derivative of a quadratic will be a linear form so that is uh, quite understood concept but i want to clear a common misconception regarding the concept if i have y is equal to f of x here okay so how many roots does f of x have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that has 4 roots for f of x. Okay. Now let me calculate the number of roots for f dash x. See, f dash x will be 0 here. It will be 0 here. It will be 0 here. So 3 roots for f dash x. Okay. So this is a common understood thing. Now let me deal with another example which tells me that if I have a graph which looks like this, okay, so it touches here actually. So how many roots of f of x? 1 and 2, so 2 roots, okay. If I take the graph of f dash x, I will see that it will become 0 at 3 points. So f dash x will have 3 roots. So the thing that has to be cleared in your mind is if f dash x has n minus 1 roots then it doesn't imply that f of x has n roots okay so let me begin with the Rolle's theorem Rolle's theorem let us understand the conditions where this theorem can be applied so first of all let us define the function so let y is equal to f of x be a function that is defined for x belongs to a included to b included such that the first condition is f of x is continuous on a to b c both are included here the second point is f of x is differentiable in a to b where i have a not included and b not included okay the third point is f of a must be equal to f of b so if these three conditions are satisfied for any function then there exists at least one c c is any number which is within a to b within a to b a and b are not included in that such that f dash c has to be zero so that point is clear that why a and b are not included because f of x is differentiable on a to b open so f dash c must also be a to b open so let me show you with the help of a graph three graphs let me take okay so these are the three graphs that i'm taking so first of all let it be a straight line this is a this is b now what I see here that if this is a constant straight line, constant, so that f of a has to be equal to f of b, that is this ordinate is equal, so the f dash c must be equal to 0, that is quite understood here. Uh, now let me take this one. So if I take the graph of the function to look like this, this is a, this is b. So f of a must be equal to f of b on this line. f of x is continuous on a to b. It is a continuous curve. f, f of x is differentiable that you can check. And f of a must be equal to f of b. f of a must be equal to f of b. Then there exists one c which belongs to a of a to b such that f dash c has to be equal to 0. So here f dash c is equal to 0. Here f dash c is equal to 0. At least. Okay. The next curve is somewhat like this. So this is A and this is B. 
So what I see is that f of a is equal to f of b and rest conditions are also satisfied. So there must exist one c belongs to a to b such that f dash c is equal to zero and which is that this point. Okay. So this is the definition of Rolle's theorem. Now let me deal with some questions to tell you that how the Rolle's theorem is applied. So the first question. Is, so this is the question that we have taken that we have to verify the Rolle's theorem for the given f of x in x belongs to minus 3 to 0 and we also need to find the c of the Rolle's theorem. So let us begin with the first condition that is f of x must be continuous for x belongs to minus 3 to 0 that you can verify it will be continuous. Second is f of x must be differentiable for x belongs to minus 3 to 0 that is also verified because it is a continuous function and on drawing the graph you will be seeing that the tangent does not become non-defined at any other points. So let us see the third condition which is f of a must be equal to f of b. Now what does it mean? Let us see. Here a is equal to minus 3 minus 3 and here b is equal to 0. b is equal to 0. We are seeing x belongs to a to b such that you have to do the questions like this. Now let us see that how to proceed. Uh, let us verify f of a. So f of minus 3 will be equal to 9 plus minus 3 into 3 into e raised to power minus plus 3 by 2 that is equal to 0. f of 0 will also be equal to 0. Simple conditions. So what does it imply that this condition is also satisfied and these two conditions are also satisfied. So we have verified the Rolle's theorem for this question. Now let us find the c. Now how to find c we have seen on the previous page that c will be equal to the points where f dash is equal to 0. So what is f dash x? f dash x will be equal to 2x plus 3 into e raised to power minus x by 2 uh, minus 1 by 2 into x square plus 3x into e raised to power minus x by 2. So we need to put this as 0. So this goes, this goes. On doing some calculations, I get x square plus 3x will be equal to 4x plus 6. So x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. From here, I get x is equal to minus 2 comma 3. So what will be the answers of c? c can be minus 2 comma 3, but we need to check out the domain also. So the domain is defined for minus 3 to 0. So I cannot take 3, therefore c will be equal to minus 2 only. So this is how you solve the questions which are related to the Rolle's theorem. Now let me go to the next type of questions or the next theorem basically which is the Lagrange's mean value theorem or the LMVT. So let us begin with it by drawing a graph. If I have any type of function which looks somewhat like this f of a is not equal to f of b you can see that okay let this point be c let this point be a comma f of a this point will be b comma f of b so first of all let us define the function so let y is equal to f of x be a function defined on a to b such that first point f of x is continuous on a to b the second point is f of x is differentiable in open a to open b you have to remember that open a to open b okay the third point is that there exists actually these two are the conditions that must be satisfied from these two conditions, if they are true, if these two conditions are true, then the result is the third point, which is there exists at least, at least one C which belongs to A to B such that I have the condition. See what will be the slope of this tangent that is F dash C. Okay. Now the slope of this line can be equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 basic straight lines 
सो एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए बाय बी माइनस ए सो दिस इज व्हाट द एल एम बी टी स्टेट दैट एफ डैश सी मस्ट बी इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए अपॉन बी माइनस ए इफ दीज टू कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड ओके सो लेट मी डू सम इन इक्वालिटीज विच आर रिलेटेड टू दिस थियोरम सो लेट मी बिगेन विद अ पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दैट इज इफ एफ ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड एफ डैश एक्स मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फाइव सी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू आई एम टेकिंग इन इक्वालिटीज फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स देन फाइंड द मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ टू सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन आस्ट ना लेट एस सी हाउ टू प्रोसीड इन सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस डिफाइन एफ डैश एक्स सो द एफ डैश एक्स इज एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए बाई बी माइनस ए सो इट इज नॉट मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज कंटिन्यूस एंड डिफरेंशियबल सो दैट वी टू टेक एज अ स्टैंडर्ड मेजर फॉर सॉल्विंग सच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए अपॉन बी माइनस ए इज बेसिकली एफ डैश एक्स सो आई कैन पुट इट हेयर सो एफ ऑफ बी माइनस एफ ऑफ ए बाय बी माइनस ए मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फाइव ओके नाउ लेट एस सी दैट वॉट टू टेक बी एंड वॉट टू टेक एज ए लेट मी टेक टू एज बी एंड जीरो एज ए सी ओनली टू वैल्यूज आर मैंशन सो दे हैव टू बी टेकन सो एफ ऑफ टू माइनस एफ ऑफ जीरो by 2 minus 0 must be greater than equal to 5 so f of 2 minus f of 0 is minus 2 so basically plus 2 by 2 must be greater than equal to 5 so f of 2 must be greater than equal to 8 so what i get the minimum or the maximum value of f of 2 so f of 2 minimum will be equal to 8 okay so this is how you solve such type of questions which are related to rolf's theorem and the lmvt so i hope that this video helps in clearing many of the doubts that were there regarding these two concepts so if there are any doubts you can definitely ask me in the comment section and best of luck